Welcome inside the Cochrane Arena. Three of three for the Knights. It is the I <coughs> excuse me. Cochrane Generals hosting the Medicine Hat Cubs. Eric Garber will be in between the pipes for the Cochrane Generals, and it will be Logan LaRue, third consecutive start for LaRue. Clearly earned the trust of his coaching staff in the last couple of his starts. He's 3-0 oh as well. That's not bad. Is that good? I think that's good. Or 2 and oh. Sorry. And we are underway here in Cochran with the Medicine Hat Cubs controlling the opening drop. Fletcher Ailman in the far side corner. In there trying to help out is Chandler Ailman. The Bane comes out with it. Now here come the Cochran Generals. What on what? This is Harrison. Harrison trying to take to the middle, but it's taken away. And now back come the Medicine Hat Cubs. The captain, Stad Nicky. Stad Nicky right out front. Scores! Spencer Chapman! 1 0 Medicine Hat. A quick strike. A buck away in. Tavin Stad Nicky will get the lone assist. It's Spencer Chapman. Gives the Medicine Hat Cubs a one goal lead early in this one. Medicine Hat coming off a victory. Both these teams coming off victories. Medicine Hat was in low to these Cochrane Generals at home last week to the Cold Hill Copperheads. And meanwhile, Cochrane going to get an opportunity to tie the game here with uh, Tristan Stensrud going off for tripping. Face off right side of Logan LaRue and an early opportunity to tie here for Cochran. Here's Martin Watts after the Cubs win the draw. They'll just fire at the length of the ice. As here come the Generals back through center. It is Talisian. Hume over to the line. Over to the far side. Scores! That's Slater. Is that Connor Rendell? No, it's Slater Ransom. No, it's not. Try again. Third time's a charm. It's Colton Wong from Talis Hume and Logan Brown. Power play goal and Cochran's tied the game. It's 1-1. One, one. Hume, what a backhand feed. Looking like Leon Dreisaitl on that backhand cross ice. Tapped home by Colton Wong and the Cochran Generals. Big goal there. Fell down 1 0, but uh, the Gens make uh, quick work coming right back and uh, tying this thing at one apiece before we hit the three minute mark. I think before we even hit the two minute mark of this first period. Here now is Corey Gozen. Gozen now in. It's taken away though. Irvine over to Carson Dingwall, and Dingwall will get it in the middle, but it's turned over to Talis Hume. Hume. Down to Halid Wasin. Uh, Walid Hasid, excuse me. And that was Slater Ransom. Ransom right up front. Goes in! Backhander stopped by Logan LaRue, and he will hang on to that. 16.36, lots of whistles. Goal, stop, start, all this stuff. Here to start the uh, first period. Face off, left side of Logan LaRue. It's one cleanly. Extension. A one time drive stopped by LaRue in another Medicine Hat penalty is forthcoming. This Calif is going to go for tripping, it appears. Uh, Jamal Calif, I think, has a uh, reasonable beef on that one. Hillworth and Schaefer charged with the task of killing this one. Rens Rendell, Ransom, and Bain looking to go two for two for Cochran. On the power play is Baines. Got it on the far side. Bain tied up. We're trying to dig this one loose, and they will not be able to. It's sent down the ice by Cooper Hill with Eric Garber. The Kirkland Washington made him out to play it, and he actually does pass that. I haven't seen that yet in this game. And Josh Schaefer now back to the line. Watts, Crawford, Hillworth, shorthanded attack here for uh, Medicine Hat. Shots blocked there. Harrison got it up. 
to Braden Bain. Bain starts through center. Bain makes a move around his man, trying to catch up to it and does. Bain, Ransom, shoots, blocked. Crawford there. It's going to be Randell tripped up. Too bad advantage coming up here for Cochran. 47 seconds worth. A tripping penalty will go against Desmond Crawford. He trips up. Connor Rendell. Face off left side of Logan LaRue with 15 15 to play here in this first period. Brown goes in, back to the line. Brown, far side, one timer, rebound for Wong. Wong looking up front. Brown shoots it, blocked by Ailman. Ailman down the ice. 26 seconds to go on the five on three. Gathered by Logan Brown. Brown will get it up to Corey Gozen. Gozen steps around his man neatly. He's looking to drop this off. Find Stensland, shoots, save, rebound. Wong hit the post. Now this one cleared, and that will do it for the five on three. Minute left. It's going to be back to, uh, uh, um, imagine that got a man back, so it's five on four. Here's Wong. Wong in the middle. A one-timer. Blocker save made there by Logan LaRue and cleared Again, the length of the ice. 40 seconds of power play time remain for the Ca Cochran Generals. Here comes Talis Hume. Hume over the line. He's going to try to center this one. Can't so far. Hume's got it back. Hume fights Gozen. Bain goes in shooting. Short side. Good stop by Logan LaRue. This cleared the length of the ice by Medicine Hat. And methinks that's going to take care of the Cochran power play. We are back to five on five. Hey. Desmond, did you like it in there, bud? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll put you back in for two. We'll just go chill in there. We're not, look at this. <laughs> he gets to go again. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Never seen a replay like that in this game before. <laughs> That's a power play for Cochran. One for three. Keller, far side Bain, Harrison, and now it comes right to Slater Ransom, can't get a shot away, and it's kind of Rendell. Rendell, looking to the far side. Ransom, trying to spin and fire, can't. Harrison, right off the line, he shoots and scores! Harrison upstairs! Another Cochran power play goal! It's 2-1 Generals! Chad Harrison picks this up at the line, Takes some real estate that was given to him, snaps it high glove. And yeah, Desmond, you had enough, all right, you can come on out. Look at this shot. It's high blocker, excuse me. What a shot. Top of the circles from Chad Harrison. Two on Jens. As Medicine Hat comes into this one, 2-1, two, 2-0. One, two, and oh. First place in the South Division. Right now, actually, they're second. A long shot through traffic by Dingwall, gloved down by uh, Eric Garbers. Um, Strathmore won, in regular, uh, won earlier today. And that puts them at 10 points as well. So I guess they're tied for first. I think I made a mistake on the earlier broadcast, but whatever. Uh, I make a lot of mistakes. Cochran comes in, 2-1, 0-1 for seven points. Here come the Generals again. Brandon Ob shoots it. Good glove save by Logan LaRue, and he'll hold on. So Medicine Hat trying to get back into sole position, sole possession of first place. Cochran, actually with a regulation victory, don't look now, can jump into first place. Now spin and shot there from Brandon Ob. Good stop by Logan LaRue. You'll hang on. Face off to the left of LaRue here. And it's won by the Jets. One timer! Ripped just wide. Mackenzie Fritzler got it to Houck. And Houck will come back the other way. Houck now to Carson Dingwall. Dingwall taken away from him by Walid Hasid. And now here's Sambrook. Sambrook through center. Knocked off the puck. Gretton over to the near side. And this will be shot in deep. 
by the Cochrane Generals. Here comes Caliph. Jamal Caliph, nifty move. Caliph's got a man in the net. Caliph can't get it there, though. He drops off Forbes, shoots it. Good stop by Garber, and he's going to hold on to that. As we'll probably get the standings out, the updated standings out or later on tonight. Here's McKenzie Sl here's Slosser. Slosser now Irvine shoots it at a good stop by the goaltender, Eric Garber. Here is the Cochrane Generals back through center. Joey Stensland knocked off the puck. Now up the far side, Mackin. Two on two for Medicine Hat. Matt, Ethan Mackin knocked off the puck. It's going to roll into the corner. Fletcher Aylman back to Levi Schlosser. And now here's Mackin shooting it high and wide. Will Gretton comes out the far side. Now to Dawson Javorski. Javorski to Colton Waugh. Eight minutes to go here, first period. Waugh trying to get this one in front. Wong shooting. What a chance. It hits the post. Wong nearly at his second and extended to a two-goal lead for Cochran. But here come the Cubs. Get over the line and Madison Hat going to go to the power play here now. Tripping on Thane Kondrat. With 12.28 to go here in the, uh, uh, sorry, 12.28 time of the penalty in the first period. Chance to get back even for the Medicine Hat Cubs. There's Irvine back to the line. Josh Schaefer shoots it, blocked it away by Eric Garber. Now it's Houck. Houck at the line. He cannot get this one. He will get this one out, excuse me, because here comes Wong. Wong through center. He's trying to get this one in deep and well now. Schaefer now to McKenzie. Fritzler. Fritzler up the far side. Irvine. Irvine now to Ailman. Irvine. He's going to try to put it in deep. Cannot do so. Slater Ransom. He tries to back in this out the glass and out, but instead puts it right into his own bench. 6.37 to go in the first period. Face-off will be to the right side of Eric Garber. One by the Medicine Hat Cubs. Here's Ethan Mackin. He snaps that one on, looking for the far post. But he gets it down to Slosser. Backhander stop made by Garber. And a couple of good chances for Medicine Hat there. But the Cochrane Generals able to fire it the full 200. And Jack Brandon Houck able to get this one. And over to the far side came to Fritzler. Fritzler, though, about 19 feet offside. And this one will come right back out. I think this actually may come back into Medicine Hat territory. Indeed it will. Face off left side of Logan LaRue. 9-6 the draws favor the Cochran Generals. 25 seconds to go on the Medicine Hat power play. It is 2-1 to one. the score favors Cochran. Now one-timer stopped by Garber. Good chance of her medicine hat there. It was Fletcher Aylman. Face off left side of Eric Garber. 5.45 to go in the first period. Back to the line, Hillworth. Hillworth has got it again on a give and go. He scores. Cooper Hillworth upstairs has tied the game for medicine hat. It's 2-2. And it will be a power play goal. Hillworth, Irvine, Irvine right back to Hillworth. And he absolutely shelfs that one on Eric Garber. That's a beauty. Unless you're, Gar Unless you're Eric Garber, you gotta love that one. If you're a fan of the game, it's a, a beautifully placed shot by... Uh, Cooper Hillworth in the power play goal. It's a big goal, too. Uh, ties the game for Medicine Hat on the road, uh, approaching the latter stages here in the first period. Chapman now to Tavin Stadnicki. Stadnicki in the middle. It's Tristan Stensrud. Stensrud uh, takes the net. Backhander it goes just wide. Dane Contrat over there on the far side. Ailman up top. Here's Stensrud. Stensrud takes the way by Brett Hamer. 
And Hamer will get this one to Slater Ransom. Ransom now, Thane Kondrat. Kondrat now comes up. Corey goes in near side. Goes in. Steps around one. Goes in. Yes, Ransom. Ransom shoots it. He couldn't get it away. Ransom on the takeaway, though. Ransom saved. Made LaRue the rebound. Cleared by Fletcher Ailman. Three and a half to go here for his period. Ailman into the middle. One timer. Rebound. Put rock. Cleared away by the Cochrane Generals and Brett Hamer. Will try to come back the other way for the Cubs, or for the Generals, excuse me. A shot, though, on a turnover by Schaefer. Ailman to Watts. Martin Watts trades with Schaefer into the corner. Schaefer, he puts us down low. It's Anderson. Braden Anderson to Schaefer. Watts, Anderson shooting. Stopped by Garber out of the top of his crease, and he holds on to that. Two minutes, five seconds left here in the first period. Oh, big hit there by Slater Ransom on Spencer Chapman. And Spencer Chapman is a little shaken up. See, he's on the bench, though. Not great. We'll keep our eye on that for you. But guess what? I actually don't have to because these are all just played out games and... It doesn't matter because there's no injuries for any substance of time. Meanwhile, the Medicine Hat Cubs, Josh Schaefer, scores, and it's 3-2 Medicine Hat. It's Josh Schaefer chips that one by Eric Garber, and that is uh, not great D-zone coverage by the Cochrane Generals, if I do say so myself. So Cochran will, instead of uh, looking like, you know, a couple minutes ago, maybe taking a one-goal lead to the lockers here. Right now, it's looking like they're going to take a one-goal deficit to the room. But maybe not. Here's Chad Harrison on a breakaway. Harrison looking for the second. Scores! Chad Harrison! Back and forth. We continue to go. Harrison's tied it up. It's 3-3. Backhand, forehand, backhand, and by Logan LaRue. An absolute beauty. And the Cochrane Generals tie the hockey game. Seconds after falling behind with a minute 19 to go in the first. Gretton now got it to Bain after the Generals win the draw. Martin Watts to Grant Forbes, and Forbes will start back the other way for Medicine Hat. Forbes. Looking to the line, he'll take it himself. A shot stopped by Garber. He'll freeze it with 35.4 seconds to play in the first period. So last game of the night, last game of a triple header, but don't you cry, because you know what? Well, Simmer's gonna bring you some more action tomorrow. Mountain View at Pinoca. Gets underway at 5.30. Red Deer at Rocky. Gets underway at 7. And then your Friday night will be Three Hills and Sylvan Lake at 6.30, 8 o'clock. Stetler at the Andrew Thunder. This one put in deep is... Now we'll uh, get the buzzer here through 40 through 20 minutes. Uh, if you might notice understandings that the North Division has a bunch more games played, and that is because it's hard to break up, like in the North, it's their four games around, if you want to call them. It's easy to break those up over two days. It's hard to do, like with the South, I just don't want to break them up since it's an odd number of games. So I always just play three games a day with the South, no matter what, a weeknight or weekend or whatever. And um, that's hard to do. Uh, just to make it work. So starting next week, uh, we will have actually the uh, South play on Monday and Thursday and Friday, trying to get them caught up. And uh, that should uh, do the trick. And then, of course, at the end of the month, we'll have the uh, rivalry series. So that'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, I know that there are probably like six people watching this game, so... Anyway, now you all get it at least. Tell the others. Welcome back inside the Cochrane Arena. Second period. Third game of a triple header. Earlier today, Loman stops on Toldale. 
Strathmore beats High River in overtime. We're tied 3-3 after 20 here in Cochran between the Generals and the Medicine Hat Cubs. Up top, Harrison. Harrison shoots it, goes wide. Harrison, he's got uh, 40 minutes or so to complete the Hattie. You don't hate that as a start to your game. Logan Brown in deep. Brown behind his own goal, starting at the far side. Brown is look through center, comes into the line and spoke off the puck. Ailman got it to Chapman. Chapman takes a hard shot from Brown as this puck comes back to his captain, uh, Austin Keller. Tied up on the far side right in front of the medicine half. Patch taken away by Chapman. Chapman's got a man in the net. Great play by Connor Rendell coming back through center to deny a cross ice feed. And now Rendell will go off the wall and down the ice. Not enough gas for icing. Fletcher Ailman through center finds Noah Irvine. Irvine now trying to get this one in front, but cannot do so. Corey Gozen retreats. Got it to Keller. Keller now to Slater Ransom. Gozen. Gozen looking to the line, looking out front. He finds a man. That was Slater Ransom, but a good stop turned in by Logan LaRue. Here's Will Gretton. Gretton over to the far side will lead his seed. The seed stretch pass, knocked away, but it comes instead. It comes to Ransom anyway, and Ransom, give and go with Hume. He scores. Ransom got it back. And Slater Ransom regains the lead for Cochran. It's 4-3. What a finish by Slater Ransom there. Give and go, and that was not a gimme by any stretch of the imagination. Really had to elevate that one at speed, but Slater Ransom, he had no problem doing that in real life, and I guess it's no problem doing that in video games as well. 16-10 to go in the second period, the Gens have regained the lead, it's 4-3. Up next for these two clubs, Saturday, Cochran hosts the Loman Lakers. And these Medicine Hat Cubs, they're on a bye. Take a break. One timer now, steer aside by Logan LaRue. As he stands there, up top, Javorski. Now Hamer through traffic. A good stop again by Logan LaRue. Here's Wong. Wong trying to go to the near side. Comes to Javorski instead in the slot. He rang it off the iron. And Javorski keeps that alive. Dane Conrad, a drive through traffic, deflected, and a great stop by LaRue. He holds on. 14 minutes, 24 seconds to go in the second period. So Madison Hat will not be in action on Saturday, as discussed. Instead, they will have to wait till Monday for six for a 5 o'clock puck drop against the Okotoks Bisons. Sambra, good shot through traffic. And a nice save turned in as well by Logan LaRue. He will hold on to that. 14.07 to go in the second period. Cochran four, Madison Hat three. But you know what? Not a lot of time left. You know, we're uh, pretty well just three weeks from the last day of the regular season and then playoffs. Staying Kondrat's got it in the slot in his own zone. Now it comes over to Brent Hamer, and Hamer will start back the other way for Cochran. Hamer now to Shug! Shoots it. Good stop by LaRue, and he holds on to that. A lot of whistles in this one. It's all right. That's all right if you're Cochran, at least right now. It's the last thing you want is trade chances when you're up. Slow and steady. That usually wins the race. If you're the Medicine Hat Cubs, you definitely want a little more flow to this game. And here's Grant Forbes. Forbes knocked off the puck into the middle, intercepted by Thane Kondrat. And now Sam Brook over the line. Taken away by uh, Desmond Crawford. Crawford got it to Forbes. Forbes over to the center. Now he gets over to the far side. Fritzler. Fritzler tried to come to the near side, but it's intercepted by Brandon Ob. And now Talis Hume. Hume delays. Hits Sam Brook. Sambrook got a shot, and he was hit as he let it go. And that comes harmlessly as it could to Logan LaRue, and Logan LaRue will be forced to hold on. 11 minutes and 47 seconds to go in the second period. Ransom goes in Hume out there for Cochran, Irvine, Schlosser, and Ethan Macken are the forward line for the Medicine Hat Cubs. It's Talis Hume. 
PMD right now. Front of one timer. Ransom looking for his second. Or excuse me, that wasn't Ransom. It was Corey Gozen. And Gozen's knocked off the puck. Irvine now to Ethan Mackin. Mackin will come back out. It's Carson Dingwall. Dingwall on the far side. Dingwall stops up into the middle. Levi Schlosser shot it, blocked. And there's Talis Hume coming back down the far side boards. Hume, he looks to have an option. He can't get this one in deep. He'll lead it along the wall. Ransom in there to help out. Now here's Harrison looking for the hat trick, but he missed it wide. Far side, Dingwall knocked off the puck. Connor Rendell back to the line. Keller, Harrison. Rendell, high slot. Rendell into the middle bay. Now Harrison, what a chance for Chad Harrison. But a better stop by Logan LaRue, and he will hang on to that 9-19. To go in the second period, halfway through regulation, it's a one-goal Cochrane general advantage. 4-3, they lead. Brown at the line, Harrison. Now here's Brayden Bain. He rang it off the crossbar. Up and out of play it goes. Braden Bay nearly extends it to a two-goal advantage. 9.06 to go in the second period, and the draw is going to be won by the Medicine Hat Cubs. Tristan Stensrud drops off. Kevin Stadnicki tries to put this one in deep. Couldn't do it, but he's got it back in the neutral zone. Stadnicki over to the far side. Ailman. Ailman now Chapman. Chapman on the far side. Chapman. Here's Ailman snapping one off the end boards. It comes to Garber, and he will hold on to that. 8 to go. Not a lot of chances going the way of Medicine Hat of late. Had a good look there, though. Face off right side of Eric Garber. Hillworth won it cleanly. Far side stand Nicky. Now here's Anderson. He, he trying to pull the trigger. Shot got blocked. And the Cochrane Generals will come back the other way. On the far side, it's Chad's land. He turned it over, and the Generals nearly capitalize on it. In the near side, here's Stensland. He's trying to get this back out front, but uh, can't do so. Fletcher Aylman comes back the other way. Aylman shoots, save, rebound. Dawson Javorski carries back over center for Cochran. Javorski's only got Watts to beat. Javorski delays. One-timer, Stensland trying to get that one away and does, but it gets blocked and goes into the corner. Now Dawson Javorski. Here's Joey Stensland. Right up front, scores! Colton Wong, second of the game. It's 5-3, Cochran. Colton Wong from Joey Stensland and Dawson Javorski. And the Medicine Hat Cubs now trail by a couple. Big goal here. 6 one to go in the second. Wong, Stenzel, and Javorski. That's how the scoring line reads. And here's Mackenzie Fritzler now over the blue line. Fritzler near side, Martin Watts shot that one. Good blocker, save made there. And here comes Colton Wa uh, uh, Scott Shug, excuse me. Shug now looking to the far side. Good defensive play turned in by Desmond Crawford to deny that, but Shug's got it right back. Shug knocked off the puck. Forbes has it. Forbes to the near side, Watts. 5-3, Cochran leads. Four and a half to go, second period. Grant Forbes, who's Collip. There's good chance there. For Caliph to get the Cubs back within a goal, but he can't do so. And now Sambrook will come back the other way for the Cochran Generals. Chris Sambrook denied there, but he's got it right back. Scott Shug shoots it, trying to go high on the glove side. Brandon Ob out of the corner. Ob got it to Shug. Great save by LaRue. Now here comes Mackenzie Fritzler. Fritzler now to Joey St to uh, Tristan Stensrud, excuse me. He was thinking Joey Stenslind. But Tristan Stensrud plays for the Medicine Hat Cubs. Here now over the line, this is Waleed Hasim. Hasim looking to get this one out front. He instead, he's going to be taken, away, taken off the puck by Dingwall. Dingwall spins this in front to Chandler Ailman. Top line out there for the Cubs now. Chapman trying to get this in deep. Can't. Will Gretton puts it over to the far side for Slater Ransom. Ransom now to Hume. 
Hume on the far side, Ransom, drops off, Gretton, shooting, that got blocked, rebound, glove, save LaRue on Talis Hume! What a stop by Logan LaRue, the block shot sitting in the slot. Say that ten times fast. The only reason I said that okay is because I didn't think about it. Because I don't do a lot of thinking. But a great save nonetheless. And a shot again off the draw. Blocked. Comes right out front. But no harm, no foul. Here come the medicine hat comes. Noah Irvine. Irvine. You got it to Schlosser. Levi Schlosser. Back to the far side. That's Dad Nicky. Now at the line. Ailman. Here's Irvine. Spinning and firing gloves. Save Garber. 36 seconds to go in this second period. 5-3. Cochran leads it. Over the Medicine Hat comes. Draw is won by Cochran deep in their own territory. It is now it's uh, Connor Rennell. Don't know why I didn't know that guy's name. It was right there on my screen. Here's Logan Brown. Brown into the near side. Oh, what a stop on Payne by Logan LaRue. 1.3 seconds left. And LaRue with that save, single-handedly keeps his Cubs alive going to the third period. Down by two, that is a heck of a lot better than being down by three on the road. And uh, now the Medicine Hat Cubs got to repay your goaltender here. Couple of big saves keep you in it. As it is 5-3 Generals after 40 minutes. Here's the goal there by Slater Ransom. And this was the most recent one. Stensland right out front to Colton Wong, all by himself. Chips it home, it's 5-3 Jens. Heavy shot advantage, 29-18 for Cochran. As mentioned, Cochran next in action Saturday. At home to the Loman Lakers. Trading back in his own zone. Keller to get that one. Now here's Braden Bain. Bain over the near side. Harrison with a pair. Gave it up to his captain, Austin Keller. Keller now to Rendell through center. Take it away off that puck. Tristan Stensrud got it to Stad Nicky. Stad Nicky now to Ailman. Ailman. He turned that one over in the neutral zone, and Bain will send this in deep for the Cochrane Generals, gathered by Tam and Stadnicki. As here comes Chandler Aylman through center. Aylman turns that one over, though, to Connor Rundell, as no one really getting any good looks here in the third, just kind of uh, turning pucks uh, in one offensive zone, then the other, turning over and going back the other way. But here's Harrison right up front. Charles Hume scores! Hume by himself in the slot! And he makes it 6-3 for the Cochrane Generals. Upstairs, Talis Hume. All day and tomorrow to pick that corner, and indeed he does. That is the exact opposite way you want to start the period if you're the Medicine Hat Cubs. Come out of the locker room. Oh, boys, you know what? It's a bad second period, but hey, get an early one here. It's 5-4 right back in this thing. Well, now you give up one. Now you're down three. With less than a period. Not ideal. Yeah, Ethan Mackett to the hard shot on the near side. But here is Irvine. Medicine Hat trying to get that uh, goal back in short order. Ethan Mackett spinning and firing that one, but easily handled by Eric Garber. Just about three minutes have come and gone here in the final frame. 6-3, Cochran Generals lead the Medicine Hat Cubs. Back to the line, Houck. Now here's Carson Dingwall. Dingwall got knocked off the puck hard. And Corey Gozen, he's got a step maybe. Gozen will delay, wait for reinforcements. A one-timer! Ransom stop cold by Logan LaRue, and he holds on. Logan LaRue's giving you every save you could want him to make. There's a big hit, I'm surprised. That one went unpenalized, actually. Corey Gozen on Carson Dingwall. 16 and a half minutes. 
Now left in the third period over to the far side. Gretton now is over to the far side. Talis Hume, a shot. Good stop made there by Logan LaRue. Corey goes in right out front. Hume again. He missed it just wide. Talis Hume, a couple of good looks on this shift. Twenty-one eighteen. The draws favor the Cochrane Generals. Hasim now to Joey Stensland. It's taken away by Howkin deep and back the other way. Anderson got it to Cooper Hillworth. Hillworth starts in, taken away by Will Gretton. Gretton will come back out for Cochrane. Not the start to the period you want if you're the Medicine Hat Cubs, trailing by three goals here. Is uh, Cochrane? Looking pretty good. Might end up in first place in the division after this, or at least tied for first. As here is Cooper Hillworth over to the far side. Brandon Houck. Now to Josh Schaefer. Schaefer knocked off the puck. Whereas I can never remember if it's Josh or Joel. I'll have to actually print out a roster next time. Couldn't believe that. And it's 1922. So Scott Shug has stopped meanwhile by Logan LaRue. 13 and a half minutes to go in this final frame. Base off left side of LaRue. And it will be won by Cochran. Now Sam Brook has shot. Good save on the near side by Logan LaRue. Kind of dig this one loose. A couple of guys in there. Martin Watts controls up to McKenzie Fritzler and Fritzler will come back the other way for Medicine Hat. Fritzler right in. Fritzler couldn't get a shot away. Good defensive play turned in by Condrat. Fritzler over to the near side as that comes to Sambrook. Sambrook pestered and chased in behind his own goal. Sambrook will start out the far side and Sambrook's got it. He'll put it in deep for Cochran. 11 minutes 50 seconds to go here in the third period. Hard hit down low, but meanwhile, here comes Jamal Califf. Califf over to the far side. Great job by Connor uh, Harrison, Chad Harrison, excuse me, to take that away. Braden Bain up top, Hamer, far side. Austin Cowler shoots it blocked. And now here's Levi Slosser gaining the line, dropping it back for Fletcher Ailman. Ailman now to Noah Irvine. Irvine, far side, Schlosser, near side, Martin Watts, can't get a shot away, blocked neatly by Harrison, but Ethan Mack in on the attack, trying to hold that in the corner. Approaching the 10 minute mark here in the third period. As we are now under 10 to go. It's Austin Keller, the captain, takes a hard shot on the near side boards. Noah Irvine to Martin Watts, Watts up to Ethan Mackin. Mackin will just gain the red line and put it in deep for Medicine Hat. Gathered here by Brett Hamer. Hamer over to the far side. Harrison's got the puck. Harrison dishes to Ransom. Ransom over the line offensively for the Cochrane Generals. Tavin Stad Nicky gave that one up to Fletcher Ailman. And Ailman will start back the other way. Ailman right up to Stensrud. Stensrud a back and a blocker save made by Eric Garber. Here's Hamer now to Corey Gozer. Eight minutes to go here, third period. Goes in, right in the middle. Here's Ransom. Couldn't get a shot away. Back to the line. It comes Keller. Goes in. Now right up front. A backhander. Another chance. Two chances for Talis Hume. Both denied by Logan LaRue. 7-28 to go here in the third period. It is 6-3 Cochran. Things are looking pretty good if you're a Cochran general right now. And the draw is going to be won by the Madison Hat Cubs deep in their own zone. It is Spencer Chapman coming over the line, trying to put this in deep. Gathered here by Joey Stensland. Stensland will retreat into his own zone, turns this over to Stensrud. Tristan Stensrud now to the near side. Ailman couldn't get a shot away. Up top, Stensland drops off Dingwall. Dingwall now, Chapman a backhander, stopped by Garber. He holds on to that one. Six minutes, 11 seconds to go here in the third period. 6-3, Cochran leads. Draw one by the Generals. 
will come to Stenslin. Stenslin unable to get that one out. Now here come the manager. That comes a shot and a good stop made there by Eric Garber. Fritzler out there with Jamal Califf and Grant Forbes. It is Colton Wong, Joey Stenzler, Dawson Javorski, the forward line for the Cochran Generals. Here now comes Joey Stenzler. Five and a half minutes to go, third period. Jacks, it's uh, Brandon Houck in deep for the Cubs. He'll start out with it. Houck comes in over the line near side. Houck trying to center. Can't find the lane. He's crunched off the puck by the lead. Has seen it will come to Chris Sambrook. And Sambrook will start out through center. Sambrook just going to put this one in deep for Cochran. Brandon Houck gathers behind his own goal. Gets it up to McKenzie Fritzler. Fritzler comes in offensively over to the near side. Grant Forbes shoots it off the end boards right back to Fritzler. Fritzler tied up in behind the Cochran net. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go in the game. It is Anderson, Braden Anderson. Spinning away from a check right in front. McKenzie Fritzler denied with the blocker by the goaltender, Eric Garber. Here now come the strap, the, excuse me, the Cochrane Generals. It's Ob on the far side denied. Call them Strathmore. Just call the Strathmore again. My bad. Here comes now jo Josh Schaefer over the line. Schaefer stopping up, looking for a trailer. Can't find one. Takes it to the middle himself. Schaefer taking off the puck by Waleed Hassin. Approaching the final two minutes of regulation here. Now a breakaway pass for Shug. Stop by LaRue. Scott Shug, a great opportunity there. Minute 45 to go here in the third period. This one all but over. Cochran going to collect three points in the standings in the HGHL North and move into a tie for first place with Strathmore and Medicine Hat. Schlosser now to Calla. It's turned over. Here is Chad Harrison. Harrison, maybe he'll push for the hat trick goal here. What a far side, what a drive. Good save by Garber. Right up front, another stop by Garber. Eric Garber, two big saves, and he's been tremendous in between the pipes for Cochran in this one. So again, Medicine Hat off on Saturday. They're on a bye. They don't play until uh, Monday. They'll take on the Okotoks Bisons at 5 o'clock. The Cochrane Generals, they're in action against Lomond on Saturday, and High River is in town on Monday. So a couple of home games in a row here for Cochrane right now as uh, Rendell has the puck. He gets this one up to Talis Hume. Hume now to Harrison. Chad Harrison trying to step around his man. Harrison tied up far side corner. Kicks this loose. It'll come to Desmond Crawford, and Crawford... Got that one to Irvine. Irvine now to Mackin. Mackin taking off the puck. As the final seconds will tick off here in the Cochrane Generals. Winners on home ice. Move into a tie with Strathmore and Medicine Hat. Is that one last chance for Medicine Hat? Goes wide for first place in the South Division. Cochrane wins it. 6 3 is. The final, and Eric Garber will pick up yet another victory in the HGHL 21 season. And Cochran, you gotta love that one. Salutes the home crowd to his uh, three points. Uh, theirs now in the HGHL 21 standing. So that is it for us this evening. Thanks for tuning in. We are back, like I said, Tomorrow with two, doubleheader. Pinoca at High River, that puck drops. Excuse me, that's a lie. Mountain View at Pinoca, that puck drops at 5.30. Red Deer at Rocky, puck drops at 7. That's the goal that ends up your game winner, Slater Ransom. We'll get you a look at the three stars, the scoring summary, and then I'm getting the hell out of here. Slater Ransom, he is your third star, goal and an assist. For him, third star for the Cochrane Generals. Dallas Hume, he's your second star. He had a goal and two assists. Uh, pretty good night. And that was the uh, final uh, nail in the coffin there. 6-3 uh, in the third period for Dallas Hume on that one. Two goals and one assist for Chad Harrison. And he is your first star, uh, including this one. That's Hume's first of the game. 38-25.
the shots end up for the Cochrane Generals. As a uh, look at the shot summary, it's pretty even first. Heavy Cochrane in the second, 9 7 for Cochrane in the third. As uh, Spencer Chapman gets us off and running at 108 from Tavenstad Nikki. Uh, Colton Long would tie it up seconds later, though, from Catalyst Human Logan Brown. Chad Harrison, he makes it 2 1 Cochrane at 721. Connor Randellis later ransom on the assist. Cooper Hillworth, he gets it back even for Medicine Hat at 1421. Noah Irvine and Chad Ailman, uh, sorry, Chandler Ailman on the assist on that one. Josh Schaefer at 18-13. Look at back and forth we go. It's 32 now for Madison Hat. Cooper Hill with and Brayden Anderson get the apples. But uh, before we go to break, seconds after that Schaefer goal, it's Chad Harrison from Elite Hassine uh, to make it a uh, 3-3 tie after 20. It's Cochran the rest of the way. All generals, 350 in the second period. Slater Ransom from Talis Hume. And then at 1359, Colton Wong gives the Gens a two goal lead from Joey Stenzel and Dawson Javorski. Talis Hume puts the icing on the cake at 216 in the third. That makes it 6 3, and that's where it ends up at the final. The assists on that one are Chad Harrison and Connor Wendell. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you tomorrow.